Hi, uh, so in this video I'm going to try and fix my keyboard driver problem on my Tuxedo Stellaris 16 Generation 5 and uh, basically I'm recording this video because I just got a response uh, on the question that I asked on Reddit someone from Tuxedo Computers responded and suggested uh, for me to install this uh, additional package which I wasn't aware of before and uh, that's what I'm gonna be installing right now and basically if it works well I'll uh, release this as a video for other people to to be able to do the same basically so uh, I went ahead and copied uh, these li links from uh, from these pages in Tuxedo repository so basically I uh, Instead of like adding an Ubuntu repository to my Debian system, I am kind of hesitant to do that. I uh, just downloaded the latest versions of these packages, uh, Tuxedo Keyboard, Tuxedo Control Center, and uh, this new one that I was just suggested, uh, that was just suggested to me, Tuxedo Keyboard ITE and uh, or I rather copied links to them and I'm going to download them now and uh, then I'm going to install them with apt and hopefully uh, finger, fingers crossed that the keyboard will work so like while this is downloading perhaps I could like record a quick uh, demo video so right now uh, the keyboard is responding so um, Basically, if I press function key and space, I can adjust the brightness, but uh, the keyboard also has like, uh, you can, um, you should be able to customize the LEDs underneath it, like the backlight, the entire thing. And so that's what I'm aiming for. Like before, uh, what I tried before is, um, basically I only installed uh, this Tuxedo keyboard package and and the Tuxedo, Tuxedo control center. I wasn't aware of this one. And so uh, in that case, the keyboard just stopped responding right, right after I uh, installed Tuxedo keyboard. Uh, and like, or rather it didn't stop responding, but the backlight stopped, it stopped responding. So the brightness wasn't able to be adjusted like I, I just showed in that clip so um right so let's go ahead and install that stuff um kind of wondering about the order i should install them and probably doesn't matter but uh let's try well i'll go tuxedo keyboard first and then IT, and then uh, and then the cons control center. So um, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. All right. So Tuxedo keyboard is. Uh, installed and uh, right now if I show you the keyboard it will no longer be responsive so that's the result I've been getting so far so let's see if this other package makes a difference um, all right so that's tuxedo keyboard ITE and uh, doesn't seem to have any dependencies but okay so so let's see it's still not responding but um, maybe some configuration needs to be made or something like that let me try installing tuxedo control center and uh, see if that uh, if Tuxedo Control Center sees 
the um, the keyboard because there is a section in it where you're supposed to be able to customize the LEDs. All right, so he's here is the tuxedo control center. I opened it, and um, I almost forget where that setting is, but I think it's. No, it's not here. It's in tools and keyboard backlight. Okay, this is cool. So, and yeah, the keyboard. Let me show you that. Uh, the backlight, I can see. I, I don't know at what point it went on, probably while, while I launched uh, the control center. But, well, actually, since this is, seems to be working, I'll, I'll go ahead and put my. Uh, phone camera on uh, on a tripod so I can mess with it and see what uh, what it's capable of. All right, so uh, I put my phone on a tripod and now I'll I'm start I'm gonna start uh, recording there. So uh, let's see. So uh, this seems to have worked. So thanks to. Uh, to Chris from Tuxedo Computers, I really appreciate uh, that he suggested this. So let's see, let's try changing. Oh, look at that! Like you can change the backlight color. I never had a keyboard like that before. This is really cool. So basically, it does what <laughs> what you would expect it to do. Uh, I'm glad that it's working. Really, really glad. Uh, Brightness can be adjusted here. Everything works. Awesome. So I guess like what more can you ask for, right? Uh, uh, everything seems to be responsive. Um, let's see the rest of the tuxedo control center while while I'm at it. So I'll I'll stop the that phone recording so that. I don't have like too much footage to to deal with later, and um, so that was really the only thing that I noticed so far about Tuxedo Control Center that wasn't working. It was this kind of connection of, of it with the keyboard. As you can see, like the dashboard shows uh, the CPU temp uh, and frequency and f uh, fan uh, rotation speed and. Uh, GPU temperature and fan rotation speed, so that is working. Uh, then in the profile section, you can set up different uh, like different um, power management profiles, and then. Um, yeah, I, never, I, I haven't tried this yet, so I'm not going to just like try and do it on the spot. Uh, this is something that uh, I probably should like spend some time trying out first before making a video about it. But this seems to be like I don't see any indications of any failures, uh, so probably okay. Uh, this change crypt password thing probably will only work on Tuxedo OS, that's my guess, because uh, I mean, I set up encryption with a different system, although I don't know, not sure what it does, but it's probably a Tuxedo OS only thing, and I'm running Debian. The shutdown timer, uh, the webcam, I'm not gonna touch that because I'm, um, I'm recording with a webcam right now, I don't want to, to accidentally mess with the OBS. Aquarius is uh, for their like, so this laptop is capable of, uh, like you can buy this Tuxedo Aquarius device and you can uh, like water cool your system instead of like uh, using fans and uh, so this is uh, available but I don't have that device so uh, I can't say much more about this than uh, than this. And then uh, he, I guess these are the, like the power management profiles that are active uh, or yeah that are in use. You can change the language to German and back to English. 
there's a support uh, section and uh, there's an info section with some just like basically an about page as far as I can tell and uh, just some information about the company and uh, and about the Tuxedo control center itself and so yeah this is basically it like a Tuxedo control center like I haven't tested the the profiles yet but I'm gonna do that later I just like wanted to do a quick overview right now since I'm recording this um, all right so basically this is it uh, like I said thanks to Chris for the suggestion that's worked really appreciate it I'm gonna release this video so that other people can hopefully find it and uh, like get things fixed uh, uh, right away so yeah uh, this is it thanks thanks for watching I hope you found this video valuable and I'll see you in the next one